Good evening, everyone. Happening right now, thousands of people in the South Hills left in the dark about when they're going to get their COVID-19 vaccine. And that's because their hospital hasn't gotten any doses for patients looking to get their first shot. And it's happened three weeks in a row. Channel 11's Michelle Newell is getting answers about what's causing this delay. The chief medical officer here at St. Clair Hospital can't pinpoint exactly what's causing this issue, but he says it could be a number of issues like the prioritization of who gets vaccinated, which has changed a few times, limited vaccine. And lastly, St. Clair Hospital says it's only getting a few days notice about vaccine supply. It's profoundly disappointing to those who thought they were right on the cusp of being vaccinated. St. Clair Hospital is up against the same problem. So Senior Vice President and Chief day Medical day. Officer Dr. John Sullivan but says the hospital hasn't been allocated any of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for first doses for three weeks now. We canceled um, several hundred last week and we canceled all of the first dose appointments this week. Um, and we canceled um, several uh, senior living facilities. That includes the Twin Towers apartments in Mount Lebanon and the Dormont Place apartments for seniors. It's very disappointing to communicate that message to your uh, these vulnerable members of your community. 5,000 South Hills residents are still in the queue waiting to be scheduled. For the time being, we're on hold. And for those who need a second dose. We're going to finish up se some second doses, but I, we will still be dependent on those uh, supplies coming in in the next few weeks. St. Clair Hospital is trying to keep residents in the loop as much as possible. They sent out this alert on Twitter and another one on Facebook, telling residents to stay glued to those pages and the hospital website for any updates. Dr. Sullivan says he would like to see a change to avoid this from happening in the future, along with chief medical officers from many other hospitals. The ideal state is going to be when we receive communication three weeks in advance of how much we can supply and can book patients with um, confidence um, that they will be able to receive their vaccine. But that's the state we want to get into. That is the, um, the Pennsylvania Department of Health's plan going forward. We're just not quite there yet. I think we're on the cusp. The chief medical officer of St. Clair Hospital tells me he's obviously happy about the addition of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but he's not exactly sure when they'll be able to get their hands on it. It could be sometime in the near future. Michelle Newell, Channel 11 News.